This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Haig Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HaigEducation.com. Okay, so there are a number of ways to measure fence. There is, this is actually metal, metal tape. You could go down to one end and hook your little end on here and use your 100 foot tape, right? And walk back over 100 feet and you get to, you're not quite to the end of the fence yet and have to stop and then like, shake this thing, right, to get it to, to try to get it unhooked down there, or set this down and walk 100 feet back and unhook it from the fence, and then walk back over here and reel it back up and then hook it in this place and then keep going, right? Or you can take one of these things, which is probably better, and you could like hook this on your belt, right? So just kind of carry it around and walk through the insurance house and you got this thing on your, on your pocket, right? carry this around with you, just like this. And you can go 9,999.9 feet, right? With your wheel here and just kind of walk along and down the fence, right? You can use that. Or <laughs> the easy way, and I would say by far the best way, or at least the fastest way um, is to uh, use basic math. And by that I mean, you take a whiteboard, uh, no, I'm just kidding. You don't take the whiteboard. So, you got your fence here, right? I'm gonna draw a fence real quick. So, the basic anatomy of a fence, if you, you know, don't, if you don't know, but I'm sure you do, you have posts, right? And they can be set into either just like pounded straight into the ground, or set in concrete, right? And then you've got the panels between the posts, right? And the panels are made up of slats or they're made up of pickets or rails or whatever it is, right? And usually with some small variations, certainly, and obviously a gazillion exceptions, the distance between this post and this post will be the same as it is between this post and the next post, right? So it might be eight feet, right? So they're all eight feet. The fastest way to measure fence, and I think if you see that there, if you can tell that the, the fence posts are all varying d distances from each other, this probably won't work very well. But if it's obvious that it's a, it's a really well installed fence and these are uniform distances, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count posts, right? And I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna count eight foot panels, but I'm gonna go by the posts. And I'm just gonna look down the line and be like, all right, so I need to repaint the whole right side of this fence. And I'm seeing, here's the corner, right? I'm gonna start here and count one, two, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight down there. And I'm gonna say eight, eight, Basically, when I write on my scope sheet, I'm going to say um, P and T. I write in an Xactimate code on my scope sheet because it makes it easy, easier for me to just write the estimate straight off of my scope sheet. P and T, F E N, right? And it's a six foot high fence. You know, the height is six foot. And then I'll say times eight, right? On the right side or the left side or the whatever side. And when I talk about sides, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll say paint one side of those things, um, right? Um, but when I say side, I mean like if you have your house here, this is the front of the house, right? And this is the backyard. The, this is the back run. I can't believe I'm writing upside down like this. That's the back run. This is going to be the right run. And this is the left run, right? Because looking from the front of the house, I'm saying this is the right side of the house, this is the front side of the house, this is the left, and that's the back. I'm gonna say this and use that same, you know, kind of idea of which what the sides are, 
by that. So this would be the right side, the right run of fence, the back run of fence, the left run of fence, and then these little guys on the front would be the front run. And usually there's a gate on one or both sides, right? So I'll say, I may even have to be required to draw this on my and, and submit a, a fence diagram. Some companies want you to do a fence diagram, which, you know, confuses the heck out of people, but it's, this is basically it, right? So this, you're just saying, um, I need to paint, you know, or I need to, so that this, the wind blows down one side of the fence, it blows down this side, right? I might put on my scope sheet, like W, you know, wind, X equals wind damage to fence or something like that, right? And then I can count my eight panels, right? Eight times eight, 64 feet. So I'm saying that that's the left side. So I'll say that's 64, and then I'll, I'll count them across the back, there's 10. Right, so that's 80. And then the right side, maybe it's seven times eight, so that's 56. And then these are 10 and 12, and I just measure those with my tape measure, right? So that's supposed to be a 12, and that's supposed to be, it should be more clear, a 10, 10 foot, right? So maybe that's what my, my fence diagram looks like, right? But I'm not gonna, unless I have to, because it's a defense, there's no easy way to do this, like counting posts. Um, or maybe if, if it's an overcast day or I've got a laser that has a video camera on it, that's probably the most accurate way to do it, right? And when I say video camera, some, there's a Leica makes a laser that has a little tiny video camera with a, that puts a crosshair. So you'll know whatever you're, whatever is this in the middle of the crosshair is where the laser's pointed because they're, they're super hard to see during the day outside, right? That's why they would do that. Um, if you think you're gonna be like using a laser running around measuring stuff outside during the day, without that, good luck. So it's super duper hard to see. Um, so you can stand here and count fence posts and then maybe walk down, take, a few, take your pictures, overviews or whatever, and then count posts and then count posts and then you're gone, right? So if, if you have to use like this thing, then you have to hook it somewhere and then run it down and this has got a pretty good hook on it, right? And you probably have to come back, come back over and unhook it, which means you're, you're backtracking and you're wasting time. And that's the reason why this isn't a great thing to, I, I don't know that I've ever really used something like this on really any claim, to be totally perfectly honest with you. This is, it's too bulky, you know, I've got a, a hundred foot, I've got this 100 foot tape, which is a lot more, you know, I probably would try to use this, right? If I needed a 100 foot tape. But again, I'm, I'm mostly using a 40 foot tape, a laser, and then counting posts and things like that. This fence is gonna be the longest thing that you have to measure, typically, right? If you have to measure, if you have to measure it, right? So um, that is a shortcut for measuring fence. Um, I have found, there's actually another way to do it, um, which, is something that, you know, unless you've done it a lot and you have a lot of experience, um, is to pace it off, right? So you can walk down this. If you know exactly how many feet your stride is, then you can pace it and just count your paces and then multiply it by the number of feet that you know that your stride is. Um, mine's about three feet, right? I'll, I have a three foot stride. And I've done this a bunch just to double check because I'll get kind of like, Was it, I'm not sure that if QA is gonna come out and they're gonna measure this fence with the actual you know, tape measure or a laser or whatever. And I will paste something like that and then go back and measure it with a laser or whatever. And I'm usually within a half foot or a foot, which is, as far as I'm concerned on fences, close enough, as long as I'm over and not under. So shortcut for measuring fence. Count posts, right? You gotta measure it, obviously. So you're gonna take your tape measure out and you're gonna measure out. The distance between here and here is 10. It might be eight and a half. It could be 11, right? And I'd measure maybe a couple of them just to make sure that they're, uniform and then I'm just gonna like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, 15, so on and so forth. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.